I hope you can hear me well. Um, yeah, as uh, introduced, my name is Andre Schultz. I'm um, senior manager at, at Adapt Group. I'm in the digital group and uh, I have uh, around 30 years in um, automation and uh, related machine control systems. So I have done quite a lot of um, machinery installations. And today we want to talk a little bit about what are the things to look at um, when buying new equipment and buying new machines, but also um, what to look for when you're trying to install new equipment and new machinery, and maybe if you're doing it for the first time. So we're focusing in this presentation on um, organizations and on people that might not be very used to buying machines, buying equipment from vendors, or managing the installations and the implementations of new equipment and machinery at their site. So the, the topics for today, as I said, we want to look at first time machine buyers. Sure, out of our experience, we will give some recommendations. Um, we will look at what can go wrong. And we will want to talk a little bit about um, industry standards um, and also all the, the rules and regulations around that. Um, and then the impacts, results, and benefits um, of uh, installing your own equipment buying your own machines and establishing your own um, production and packaging processes. And um, we're also offering specific services adapt um, in regards to today's topic. So let's start um, and look at first time machine buyers, maybe also people that might be new to organizations and haven't been involved in processes of buying new equipment and buying new machines or uh, being part of teams that are tasked with establishing new machine shops. So why are we talking about this? We see, um, and this is from a study that was done by the Packaging Digest, uh, I think it was a Thomas survey, um, that there is an increased interest in um, equipment and especially in packaging machines and packaging equipment. And in different industries, we see huge, um, you know, increases in requests and uh, um, uh, surveys for for inquiring about specific machines. And companies, um, you know, talking to vendors about buying more machinery. So the drivers for these increases. Um, they, they, they might be related to the current situation because of the, the COVID situation that we are in um, and the restricted travel possibilities. Um, a lot of organizations and, and companies that might have outsourced uh, packaging and, and production uh, processes to other companies, to partners or to, to uh, contract manufacturers, they might look at you know, the, the possibility to gain a little bit more uh, control over their own processes back and possibly they are thinking about you know establishing their own production establishing their own uh, packaging processes in-house or um, you know establishing their own machine shops so the other another driver for um, this increase might be that um, with the current situation we also see that it is very hard to um, control certain systems and have the proper staff and the qualified personnel in place and um, and being able to add uh, skilled people to the workforce. That is also maybe one driver to consider establishing a company's own um, manufacturing, packaging or production uh, house close to home, close to where the company is located. So these huge numbers, um, they come um, out of manufacturing, packaging. Uh, we see also a huge increase in, um, in CPG 
uh, consumer packaged goods uh, industry markets. Um, food beverage increases a lot. The only industry where there's not much change right now, that's the, the healthcare packaging industry, which is um, pretty normal because of the um, highly regulated um, processes there and the consistent um, long-term you know, rules and, and regulations. We don't see a lot of change there. Um, we, we had increases during the the time of sterilization implementations on packaging equipment, but now the um, the machine buying market for healthcare industry is, is pretty consistent. So let's look a little bit at um, you know what the reasons could be to think about buying your own packaging machines or buying your own production equipment. So one of the, the reasons is that often outsourcing to external packaging companies was at a certain point the best choice for your organization, but now um, with changing products and changing packaging formats, you might have um, a need for more control in bringing product to market and to develop your own products in-house. Once products are established on the market and the, the standard packaging materials and formats can be maintained, the move to an in-house manufacturing process and, and packaging uh, might provide some business benefits uh, in the long term. Um, and while bigger companies often have fixed partners and um, vendors for equipment, and uh, they do their own machine installations, those uh, the relationships between the, the buyers and the vendors, they have developed over multiple years. So, and that situation is not the same for smaller companies or newcomers to the machine buying uh, process. Uh, a lot of smaller companies that don't buy machines that often um, will probably not get the same um, service from the vendors and machine builders that the, the long-term partners or long-term clients will get. So the wait times um, can be quite long for um, companies that are new to the machine buying um, process. But establishing your own machine shop and buying your own equipment um, often gives you a lot of benefits, but it also brings challenges for your company and your organization and that new type of, of procurement. So challenges, we just said that, you know, if you enter that, that market and you get into the um, topic of, of establishing your own machine shop and buying your own equipment, that, that surely will bring challenges to your organization and, and to your own company. Um, and we, we see some, some examples of what sometimes happens, especially when you go to the, to the trade shows, you know, I mean, in the past, um, uh, you would do that personally now. Um, it's all virtual, but we still see that companies that are new to the process uh, rely on their um, either their procurement people or sometimes it's just even the, the engineers that go uh, to the trade shows to look at existing machines. And then what they sometimes do is they buy machines because they think they get a good deal at the trade shows you get um, price benefits and uh, also the, the delivery time would be pretty short uh, since they would deliver directly from the trade show to your your shop um, so, so that that seems to be a good deal um, and perfect for for those companies but most of the time it's not and um, unfortunately this scenario happens more often than, than you might think but there are a lot of, of uh, considerations and problems that can start when you buy machines at, at trade shows and you don't know what to look for and you're not prepared correctly to actually make the decision what you need and what the machine um, will provide to you. Um, and there, there are s several issues that can occur, you know, um, when you make these these hasty decisions and you just go 
and buy uh, machines quickly at a trade show. So uh, sometimes it's even that that um, uh, the organization is not prepared. Equipment arrives at the site and nobody knows what to do with it. They don't even have storage room for the machines. They're often quite big. Um, even the packaging, the crates they're coming in are, are very big. And um, there is no preparation for the for the installation um, organized. So we, we always, um, you know, warn a little bit about the, you know, going to a trade show and, and buying machines and thinking, oh, I'm getting a very good deal. But these things come with experience. Um, and if you don't have that experience, you should definitely um, look for possible help uh, talk to your existing partners, look for external partners, look for other organizations that um, might be able to work with you or help you to overcome these challenges. So installation, you know, customization, integration, qualification, they're all big topics and um, a lot of the organizations have to learn how to apply them and to manage them. Um, and um, the the small uh, personnel, the small staff that that companies often have, they don't really like to be overwhelmed and and like to be overloaded with with tasks when um, new equipment arrives. 